We have one week left in the legislative session, and as time ticks down in Tallahassee, local mayors are keeping a close eye on a bill that could impact how local ordinances are passed. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Malik Rankin breaks down the proposed changes and the fees cities could face. Senate Bill 170 is written to change the way a local ordinance is passed. Home rule is the ability for local towns and cities to control their own business in town. They enact their own ordinances, they enact their own rules that the people in the town want. North Reddington Beach Mayor Bill Queen says SB 170 takes the power away from local governments. If this bill passes for an ordinance to be considered, cities will have to provide an estimate of the direct economic impact of the proposed ordinance, including costs for the businesses to comply, a breakdown of new charges or fees, the estimate of cost to enforce, and the estimate of businesses impacted by this. The things that are on here are so, so in-depth. It's just basically what it's going to do is it's going to cost a lot of money and a lot of time. And then on top of that, then you're subjecting yourself to litigation. The bill sponsor says this legislation will give businesses the chance to fight local laws that hurt them. If passed, if an ordinance is challenged in court as arbitrary or unreasonable, like regulations on short-term rentals, umbrella bans, or single-use plastics, that ordinance is unenforceable until a judge determines its validity. So it's a lose-lose for towns. And what it would do is it would just stop people from really passing any ordinances without you know, some dire need. Ordinances related to adopting state and federal law, emergency measures, and budgets would be exempt. Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay. If passed by both chambers and signed by the governor, it would go into effect October 1st. It would apply to ordinances adopted after that.